Hey folks, how you doing? I did a video a while back on Brad's cut plugs and how I rigged them. And um, last year it seemed to work for me pretty decently. This year, after rigging them up the same way, I lost a lot of fish. Um, some of those were just short strikes where I had to fish bite for a moment and then he was gone before I even picked up the rod. Other times, uh, I would be fighting that fish for a good 10, 15, 20 seconds, even have it up to the boat and he would get off. Uh, I was beginning to get frustrated with this. I started asking other people's opinion, what they're using, what setup they have. Uh, I heard all sorts of different setups from uh, uh, treble hooks, single hooks, double treble hooks, double single hooks, um, combination of treble and single hooks. So I began to research and try different things and set up my cut plugs a few different ways until I finally came up with a way which um, I think at this point this is the best way I've found. Um, I've only caught four fish with it but I've only had four fish bite. All of those fish have been solid hook sets. I haven't had any short strikes. I haven't lost any fish. So right now we're batting four to four. And the setup I'm using, just want to show you, um, you might have seen this online. It's this setup here. Okay, I have two hooks. They're snelled on with an egg loop. Okay, and then that forward hook, okay, right here, has the rubber band go right through the egg loop, which then goes onto your cut plug. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rig this up for you guys because um, it took me a little bit to figure out how to do this egg loop guy. This one wasn't a problem. But then when I had line coming out this end, line coming behind here, trying to snell this, um, it kind of frustrated me for a little bit until my dad actually showed me this other way to do it. And it works great. So what I use, I use 30 pound trilene, big game. Um, P line would work fine. You, you don't need fancy line, guys. You don't need uh, fluorocarbon or anything like that, okay? For hooks, I was using a size 5 aught. I went up to a 6 aught. Um, actually, I do have some 5 aught hooks left, so some of my rigs have a combination of both. I put the smaller hook in the back and the larger in the front. What's important is that your hooks, okay, when you're snelling them, you want these ones with the bent eye, okay? You don't want to get the hooks that have a straight shaft. You don't want to get open eye hooks, okay? We're not going to be crimping them onto things. So, closed eye, okay, with that bend in there. And then uh, your cut plug, of course, okay, whatever color works for you. And then at the very end of the line, I will either put a bead chain or a roller swivel. When these cut plugs are going through the water, they're spinning, they're spinning constantly, okay? Um, even though they're attached to a flasher that has a swivel on the end of that, I like to have an additional swivel and I feel that just having a single barrel swivel might not be enough. That's why I go with the bead chains or the roller swivels. Any high quality swivel. Um, I probably wouldn't even go with a ball bearing swivel. The reason being is because sometimes you do get grass and things like that caught up and um, even though it's a high quality swivel, if it gets caught up with grass and stuff, it's not going to work. So let me go ahead with this setup and how I tie these knots, these egg loop knots, and just kind of go through the whole process for you. Okay, I uh, first cut off a piece of line about 45 inches. I like to do my leaders approximately um, 30 inches, 30 to 36, probably closer to 30. So I come through the top of that eye, okay, this is my end hook. Now I'm just gonna give it 10 wraps. Okay, this bottom hook, it probably doesn't matter. You don't have to do an egg loop knot. You could do just a regular snell. I'm doing egg loops just to stay consistent. That's what I'm doing in the front, so that's what I'm gonna do in the back as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I do 10 wraps, okay? I'm gonna kind of pinch this line here and then kind of do this. Okay, that'll get all the twists out of the line. Now, with the end of this line, and I'm sorry if you can't see this real good. I know um, some people do videos, they use this high, 
high contrast line that you can really see, and I don't have that. All right, I put just a little bit through here, okay? Then I continue those wraps. I'm gonna, this end that I put in there, I'm gonna lay it flat against my hook, okay? See that? I'm gonna continue my loops right over that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? So I did 10 wraps first, and then I put the line through here, seven wraps, okay? From here, I'm gonna pull it tight. Um, for anyone who's tied fish in knots for a while, I'm sure you know you wanna wet that line, okay? Get it real slobbery. And then take that line that's going through your eye, pull it tight. When you're doing this, make sure that line with the wraps that you don't give it slack, okay? If you give it slack, this whole thing will kind of unravel on you and you'll have a mess. All right, there it is. I pull it tight, okay? Now, if I push on this eye a little bit, you see my egg loop, okay? I don't really need that on the bottom hook, but I'm just doing it so I have the same knots front and rear, okay? For the next hook, the second hook, the second hook is the one that can be tricky. Okay, I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna take that fishing line and come straight up the back, okay? And one of the nice things about this snell knot that I like is that wherever I set my hooks, okay, it's gonna stay there. I've tied other versions of snell knots where I, I get it all tight and then I go to pull it tight and all of a sudden it moves a little bit, okay? It's not gonna happen here. So I like to run those hooks so that this back bend is about even with that, maybe just a hair shorter. Okay, so I have a little bit of a gap. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? We are gonna do 10 wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, I'm then gonna pinch that, and I'm gonna kinda let those kinks out of the line. I'm gonna come up through the eye, Okay, here's the trick, guys. Don't go too far, okay? Only go a little bit like this, all right? Keeping that other line with the wraps tight. We are, okay? Now this line here, I've laid it across the shank of my hook. I am now gonna continue the wraps right over that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, what I did differently on this, when I tied this, because this is so short, I can just wrap it right around there without a problem. I'm sure you've seen other videos where you're taking the line and you're, you're holding it out like this and you're doing all these complicated wraps and um, it gets complicated, it gets difficult when you have a trailing hook behind that, okay? So, I wet it. Pull that tight, all right, pull that tight. All right, so there are my two hooks, okay, snelled back to back. Um, doesn't really matter if they're facing the same way or not because what I found is after a while they just kind of reposition themselves anyways, okay. A little bit of a tag end on here. I'm gonna cut that off just so I don't have a bunch of excess. Now, here's my cut plug. They come with a rubber band. I'm gonna take off this rubber band, okay? Now I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna take it back out of the eye, okay? Because I need to get that rubber band right through there. So I'm gonna pull this, ouch, stuck myself all the way back, okay? I'm gonna run this rubber band down the line, down the line, 
and then I am going to run it back through the eye again like it was originally okay make sure there's no twists and kinks in there all right so now what I have is this rubber band it's attached to that hook right through the egg loop okay now um, I will run this through the I believe that's called a leader I don't know leader something leader garage or something and then the hook garage I'm just gonna run this line through the Brad's cut plug okay through the little hole the hole underneath here out the front now when I get to the end here I'm gonna loop that rubber band right on the back with the hook snugged up tight okay there I go okay then on the end here is where I'd tie a bead chain or a roller swivel okay you could do a barrel swivel but um, I don't know I feel that it might get clogged up with grass and this line will get all kinked but that's the setup I've gone to now okay um, what I like about this is number one I've caught fish with it and I haven't lost any so that's a good thing I can also set up these leaders here's one I have already tied up and I just throw this in my box okay guys so I can have a bunch of these cut plugs not even rigged with these leaders set up and uh, instead of having all these things rigged up in my box and uh, takes up a lot of room I just throw them all in my box I hook up a few have them set up ahead of time when I go fishing a few uh, colors I think I'm gonna use and then if I later decide hey I want to try something else I can easily take my pre-tied leader run the rubber band through there run it through the cut plug tie a bead chain on the end and I'm ready to go um, as far as hooks go these hooks are these uh, owner cutting points excuse me um, needle points a lot of people have said that they prefer the cutting points I haven't really tried enough with both hooks to, to really say one way or another which is better um, I've also tried these Gamagatsu big river hooks I like those so I think uh, which hooks you use that's a whole nother video guys that's a whole nother uh, you know debate as far as which is the better hook but as far as the setup goes okay I think this is the setup this is the setup I think I found it this is a setup that seems to really work good and as I said I haven't missed any fish with it yet granted I've only had four opportunities to test it out but all four of those those hooks have been in there solid um, in several cases they've been in there both hooks in there solid so I hope uh, this helps you and that other video I have where I use a bead chain on the back it works but I would say this works better okay so practice those snell knots set up a few of these and I think you'll be pleased all right good luck out there folks